Hello, Gemini. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for being here. Today's reading will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do we need to know about what they're thinking or feeling about you? What messages do they wish they could send you? Um, what do they wish to tell you? And also, what are their intentions for the near future? So we're going to be looking at all, all of that today. All right, so let's see, Gemini. Spirit. Messages for Gemini, please, Spirit. What does Gemini need to know about this person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? How do they view Gemini right now? What do they think of Gemini in this moment, Spirit? The Three of Wands. Okay, so this is about waiting for a result, waiting for a message back, waiting for an outcome. I feel like this person, oops, is on the lookout with the Three of Wands. Maybe they're waiting for you. Maybe they're waiting to head towards you here. How does this person view Gemini? What are they thinking about Gemini's spirit? Six of Pentacles. Interesting. It's like they're waiting to give you something or to receive something. It's very interesting because I feel like this could be interpreted in two very different ways. I'm not getting that, you know, it's like I'm, I might be reading for two Geminis right now, two groups of Geminis, but I'm not going to jump to conclusions. Uh, when I see the Three of Wands with the Six of Pentacles, I think of waiting for some sort of balance or waiting for, you know, the right time to give or receive something. Also, this person could be picturing you as waiting for them. So that's interesting. Um, let me put this over here. So what do they wish to tell you? Oh my gosh, the Five of Pentacles. Interesting. Uh, this is somebody that's out in the cold, is struggling, not doing well, has experienced some sort of a loss, feels like they're missing something in their life. What do they wish they could tell Gemini at this moment? What do they wish they could tell Gemini? Seven of Wands. Interesting. I'm, I'm getting that this person's like battling something or having to be brave or having to face a lot of obstacles or challenges. Almost like they want to tell you, hey, it hasn't it hasn't been uh, so great over here. I'm also getting uh, with these two energies that they this person could be feeling very distant from you. Um, almost like you've blocked them or have resisted them or have closed the door on them. So they're kind of looking from the outside in. I am going to clarify all of these in a second, but kind of want to put down the energies first. So what are their intentions for the future? Swear, what are their intentions for the future here when it comes to Gemini? Wow, the fool to take a risk, a leap of faith into a new beginning. A new start? What are their intentions for the future when it comes to Gemini spirit? What are their intentions for the future? King of Wands. Yes, this is definitely um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is definitely a go-getter, a risk taker, the King of Wands. I feel like they have um, an intention to take some sort of action. The King of Wands likes to take charge um they're natural leaders what they see they get you know it's like what it, what they plan for they achieve um very bold in their approach and then when i see with a fool i think of someone that's willing to take whatever risk is necessary to achieve their goal so let's get some insight here i'm going to be using some of my own decks if you're interested in any of my decks they're um, listed on my website, which is, you guessed it, linked in the description box. So let's see. Spirit, what's this person's overall energy? This person that Gemini is thinking about or connecting with, what is their overall energy? What is their overall energy? Poetic justice, 
fairness, balance, karma, you will have justice and balance will be restored. So this person might be wanting to make something right here with you, Gemini. I'm start. I'm already thinking about that six of pentacles. Like maybe they already know that they want to fix something, balance something out, or just have something that's balanced, fair. And that's interesting because that right away, I'm starting to think, were they not fair to you in the past? Were things just not right in the past? You know, what happened here? So let me get my little clarifying deck so I can get some clarity on these energies. Get some clarity, please, Spirit. For Gemini. Let's find out what this three of wands. Oh my gosh. The sun just flew out. Why is the three of wands here with the six of pentacles? The hermit, Virgo energy with the sun. I think of clarity. I think of something out in the open, something that someone was keeping to themselves with the hermit because the hermit is withdrawn by itself. They are digging deep, listening to their intuition, seeking answers. I feel like this person is really thinking about you like while they're alone or while they're dealing with whatever it is that they're dealing with. It's like their mind go ba goes back to you. But with the sun, I'm getting like there's clarity. There's a, a radiance here. Wow, seven of swords and the five of pentacles. So yes, this person I think is looking back at the past and maybe their actions have not been uh, it's almost like they might have done made some serious mistakes here mistakes that put them like in the doghouse that's probably why poetic justice is the overall energy for this person they know they have to make things right with you they know that so when they think about you they think about man i really screwed up here and also, Gemini probably thinks I'm the Seven of Swords and that that maybe they see me as the bad guy, the bad girl or the, the villain here. Uh, the sun is also kind of an energy of happiness, news, good news, celebrations. But when I think of it as like radiance or clarity, you know, with the hermit, I feel like this person is having like an aha moment, right? Like maybe they're realizing, wow, all this time. I was looking at this the wrong way. Um, and I feel like they've waited too long to make things right. I think that's what's happening here. So let's look at what they wish they could tell you. Um, the five of pentacles and the seven of wands. What do we need to know, spirit, about this five of pentacles and the seven of wands? The queen of wands. And the Emperor, Aries energy, a lot of fire. Uh, you could be dealing with a fire sign or someone with fire in their chart. Does not have to be, but what I'm getting here is almost like, okay, I, I'm hearing temperamental, but I don't, I don't know why. I feel like this person, like they see you as a very fiery person, someone with a lot of um, personality. That's what I'm getting here. I also am getting like short temper, like you don't have a lot of patience with this person or that's what this person's worried about. It's like if I come to talk to Gemini, the reaction will not be a good one. I feel like Ge Gemini will snap at me or Gemini will not respond well. Um, I think they're trying to get a w uh, around this by showing up as an emperor energy. Someone very mature, wise, decisive. I feel like this person is going to tell you that they're different now. They're, they're not the same person that you remember. You know? But they're, they're, they're doing all of this while they're out in the cold. So I feel like in their mind, this could um, slow things down for them. Because it's almost like they're coming to you from a losing... Uh, how do I say this? Like... um. They don't have the upper hand. They don't have the advantage here. Tell me more about this five of pentacles and the seven of wands. The two of wands. Okay, so 
I think, oh, there's judgment. Yeah, I feel like in their mind, um, coming out of the cold, coming towards you to make things right, you would have to be okay with that for this to happen, right? It's like the choice is yours. Now, judgment, this is that aha moment. Oh, wow, and the tower is after it with the five of swords. Oh my goodness. Whatever happened between you, this person is understanding something about that now. They're having realizations, awakenings, understandings about that. So their intentions for the future is the Fool and the King of Wands. What can you tell me about the Fool and the King of Wands for Gemini? What can you tell me about the Fool and the King of Wands for Gemini? Seven of Wands again with the Hangman. Tell me about the Fool and the King of Wands. Well, those two are so, like opposite energies for me. Oh my God, the Tower again. What is happening? I feel like there's definitely something I'm missing here because the Tower has shown up. So right away, I'm like, uh, what's going on? <laughs> I'm going to clarify that tower. The hangman is someone that's stationary. They're hanging upside down. And so they're able to see something differently, right? They're able to have a different perspective. Um, tell me about the tower. So that makes sense here because, you know, your person is like understanding something for the first time, perhaps, or understanding something differently. But the Seven of Wands is like, there's a fighting stance of resistance. Almost like they have to fight for this, but I don't understand what them looking at something differently has to do with you. I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower. The star, Aquarius energy. They wanna heal what's happened. Yes, there's the Knight of Wands. So there was a tower between you already. This tower is a past tower. I feel like they're understanding this tower now and enough to come forward to have like a, a renewal of some sort, to fix something, to heal something. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Tell me about the Seven of Wands, please. Yeah, there's a Six of Pentacles. So they're going to show you that they're willing to fight for this. Fight to make things right with you. So let's see. What messages do they have for Gemini? Spirit, what messages does this person have for Gemini? What messages does this person have for Gemini? I'm having doubts. What messages does this person have for Gemini? I still check up on you. So I feel like you're not together with this person. There's there was, This tower was probably a separation. Um, I'm working on myself at the bottom of the deck. Let's get a hidden truth oracle. So to me, this seems like a very simple reading. I'm having doubts is because in their mind, um, they're at a disadvantage, Gemini. They have a lot to make up for. You know, they have a lot to make up for here. And so that they're already at a disadvantage when it comes to this connection, when it comes to you. Now, they're willing to take the risk, though. What messages do they have for Gemini? What does this person wish to tell Gemini? I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Gemini, you had a reading recently where there is an individual in your life that is experiencing a karmic lesson. So this could be a continuation of that. Feel free to check out your playlist if you want to see that reading. One more message, please. What message does this person have for, Gen for Gemini, if I could speak? I remember every detail of that day. Yes, they are looking back at whatever tower happened between you. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Yeah, there was a separation here between you and this person. And they are still thinking about you despite what's happened. They might have gone through some sort of karmic lesson on their own 
but they're still checking up on you and they're still it's like they're realizing something about the past that's new to them maybe they're realizing that they were more at fault than they realized or maybe they're realizing that hey that was my opportunity and i blew it so many ways to look at this so that's what i have for you gemini hopefully you enjoyed this quick reading about your person and what they're thinking or feeling about you uh, let me know in the comments if it resonates for you. I, would, I love hearing from my Geminis. Uh, thank you so much for watching once again. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.